murder trial of David Swift, the man accused of murdering his wife, Karen, in Dyer County back in 2011. Now, the jury found Swift not guilty on multiple charges, including first and second degree murder. The jury, however, deadlocked on the charge of voluntary manslaughter. WRG's Mike Siriani has been covering that trial and has reaction to the jury's decision. It's taken the better part of two days for a jury to reach a decision in the David Swift murder trial, a case that's taken nearly 13 years to come before a judge and jury and may not be over yet. Does the jury agree on the highest level of offense that the defendant is either guilty or not guilty? Yes. What is the, what is the verdict in that? Not guilty. David Swift seemed to breathe a sigh of relief as the verdicts were announced. David Swift not guilty of four charges connected to the death of Karen Swift, but the jury was unable to reach an agreement on voluntary manslaughter. Do you all believe that the jury is hopelessly deadlocked with respect to the charge of voluntary manslaughter? I see everybody nodding their head yes. District Attorney Danny Goodman disappointed in the outcome. It's very difficult because I think juries like to see direct evidence. They like to see DNA, blood, fingerprints. So, you know, it's a up uphill climb from the very beginning. So it's always difficult to put those cases together. Since the jury deadlocked on the voluntary manslaughter charge, a new trial is possible. David Swift's attorney is already weighing his next steps. We've had the heat of battle and we've, we've done our best and uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna evaluate the case and see where we go from there. A DA Danny Goodman hinted there's a possibility the testimony not presented in this trial could be presented in a new trial. On July 2nd, there will be a decision on whether or not to proceed with a new trial for David Swift. And at that time, a decision will be made whether to revoke his bond or reinstate his bond. At this time, he remains in jail. For your news leader in Dresden, Tennessee, I'm Mike Suriani, WREG News Channel 3. And beyond that, David Swift still faces charges in Alabama for stalking his second wife from whom he is now divorced.